Hey everyone, this is how we solve equations using the distributive property. So in our first two examples, um, we see that we have a number on the outside of some parentheses. And hopefully we have kind of drilled into you by now that when you see a number squished up against those parentheses, that that means that we need to distribute. So for our first one, we're gonna take that two, oops, I am not on pen mode, sorry. We're gonna take that two and multiply it by the x, gives us two x. And then we do that two times the negative four to give us negative eight. We bring down that equals negative 16 on that side and all of a sudden all we have now is just a two-step equation which we've already been working on. So the next thing is we need to get rid of that constant which is that negative eight. So to get rid of that I'm going to add eight to both sides because negative eight plus eight is zero. We can get rid of it. We bring down that 2x, negative 16 plus 8 is negative 8. And now I have multiplication, so to get rid of multiplication, I must do the inverse and divide. So I'm going to divide by that 2. 2 over 2 is 1, and we get 1x. And final answer is x equals negative 4. For the other one, we are going to distribute a negative 5. So negative 5 times s is negative 5s. Negative 5 times a positive 30 is negative 150. We have our equals negative 1. Now I need to get rid of that constant. So I'm going to add 150 to both sides because it was a negative. And now when I add 150 over here, that negative 150 plus 150 is 0. I must bring down that negative 5s over here. It's uh, really the same thing as 150 minus 1, so that's just 149. And some of you might be a little nervous right now because our numbers aren't working out so well, but you know, in real life, numbers don't always work out to be nice, even answers. Uh, and that's the case here. So we're going to get rid of that negative 5 by dividing by negative 5. Okay, remember, we don't want to just do the positive because then our s will be negative still. So we're going to divide by negative 5 to give us that positive 1s. Whatever we did to that left side, though, we must also do to the right. And really, guys, this is why we have been asking you to write that uh, division as a fraction bar. Because at this point, hopefully we realize 5 doesn't go into 149 evenly. Um, but really, all you have to do is take this as your answer. So s is negative 149 over 5. Um, we're okay with you leaving it like that. Uh, remember that negative can go anywhere in that fraction. Um, just be careful if you're working on Pearson. Sometimes they might say, you know, write it as a mixed number or a decimal. Um, so just always pay attention to the directions um, and what it's asking you to do. But if it's up to us, you know, you are totally allowed to leave it as that improper fraction. Okay, let's look at some word problems. Okay, a collector has a box of 32 figurines. Uh, do I have a highlighter? Yes, I do. Okay, 32 figurines. The value of each figurine increased by 232 over the past year. The box is now worth 114.24. What is the original cost X of one figurine? So let's work through this, okay? Um, we have the original cost is X. They are saying, oops, sorry, still on highlighter mode. <laughs> the original cost is X. Okay. And it says the value of each figurine increased by 232. So if this was the original cost, I want to take that original cost and add the 232 to it to show that the value has been increased by that much. But now we also have this uh, first sentence saying that there's 32 figurines. So this right here, highlight, okay, this x plus 232 that I don't like highlighted, so I'm going to get rid of that, uh, that is our current cost of one figurine, but because there's 32 of them, we need to take that and we need to multiply the cost of one figurine by the 32 figurines that we have. And now that whole box of 32 figurines 
is 114.24. And then we would distribute. So 32 times x is 32x. 32 times 232 is, I just totally used my calculator, 74.24. We have equals 114.24. Get rid of that constant, so we're going to subtract that 7424 on both sides because now this is 0. We bring down that 32x. Um, this is nice because our 24 cents just subtracts, so really it's 114 minus 74, which is $40. And now we can divide by 32. Divide by 32, I am once again using my calculator. 40 divided by 32 is $1, well, 1 1.25. And in terms of our word problem, we should probably put a dollar sign there. So the cost is $1.25. Okay, one more word problem, because the word problems are the harder ones. Uh, the cheerleading squad received one-fourth of the total sales of foam fingers and pom-poms at a pep rally. The squad received a total of 136.75. What's the value of the pom-pom sales P? It also tells us there was $250 in sales of foam fingers. Okay, so they made one-fourth of this total. Okay, and the total was the foam fingers and the pom-poms. Okay, and the total altogether was 136.75. Sometimes it helps writing things out in words before actually trying to put your things in places. Okay, so I see the word of, and that tells me that we need to multiply. So we're going to multiply one-fourth times something, and what we're multiplying one-fourth by is the total from the uh, foam fingers and pom-poms. So my foam fingers was 258 and my pom-poms we don't know but it tells us that that is what p is p is the value of the pom-pom sales so the total sales comes from that foam fingers and the pom-poms and we have our equals 136.75 on the other side still um, but there's a slight problem with how i wrote my equation right now um, because that one-fourth technically is really only being multiplied by that 258 right now. If I want it to be multiplied by the total of both of these things, I now need to include some parentheses. Okay, and now I have a number on the outside I can distribute. So we're going to do one-fourth of 258, which really is just the same thing as dividing 258 by 4, and we get 64.5. I have one fourth times p, which is one fourth p, and I have equals one thirty six seventy five. I can now subtract my constant to make that constant equal zero. Bring down my one fourth p. I have one thirty six seventy five minus sixty four point five is seventy two twenty five, and I like this last step. Okay, this is something that you guys were having some trouble with earlier. We have a fractional coefficient. Okay, uh, you guys watched an Ed Puzzle video the other day where you have to take that number and multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of one fourth is four over one. So we're going to do that on both sides because what happens here is your fours reduce, your ones reduce, and really all you're left with is that P. And so we're going to do. 72.25 times 4 and get 289. So the value of the pom-pom sales must have been 289.